Hi guys, Kaori Take here for Red Carpet Report at the Paisley Center for the premiere of Justice League War, the new DC animated feature. I'm about to talk to all of the people, so come check it out with me. James. Hey James. So James, um, as a producer, what makes you guys decide which comics to turn into features? Um, you know, there's a wish list that we have of our own, like, you know, certain stories I I have always loved and wanted to. And then we also have, you know, bosses who say, maybe you should do this story. So, you know, we, there's a variety of ways we come about uh, adapting things. Um, do you plan on carrying over any of these voice actors into your next, next feature film? Um, well, definitely um, Jason Amara will be in the next uh, Batman release. Okay. Yeah. So, and others. I won't announce them yet. But. <laughs> any other feature films that you can announce that are coming soon? Um, we, I think it's been announced. It may not be everywhere that we're doing um, Son of Batman will be the next uh, release featuring Damien, uh, who's never been animated or on, on film yet. So that's good. Um, and the one after that will be uh, Assault on Arkham, which will be adapted from the video game, the Arkham Asylum video game. So. Love those games. Yeah. Um, we have a really interesting take on the, the story we're telling that... Um, you know, doesn't step on the video game's toes at all, but opens up a different facet of the game that people may not be aware of, so. Can you elaborate a little bit? No, darn it. Not until the summer. All right, so how about uh, for you, who's your childhood superhero? Oh, uh, my favorite superhero. Oh, God. I like Flash, and I like Wonder Woman. I can't, I can't say just one. So, yeah, Flash, or, Flash and or Wonder Woman have one of their superpowers for a day what would you who would you have and what would you do with it well if it's superpower I want mind control <laughs> and uh, I don't know who has that power who has my uh, 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 mad hatter <laughs> would you hmm. I wouldn't want to be him. yeah I don't think you would want to be him either so um, I'm trying to think of someone else eh, you know what I'll stick with one of them so she okay. She likes ice cream. She likes ice cream. Yes, she does. It's wonderful. Any challenges in making this cartoon? Uh, challenges. Uh, keeping the integrity of the comic, uh, yet opening up the story to fill the needs of a film. Uh, very different medium, comic books and, and movies. And so, luckily, there was a lot there to use that we didn't have to uh, eliminate anything. We just had to put more stuff into the mix. And, um, you know, the writer, Jeff Johns, helped us with that, too. So it was very collaborative. That's the thing I definitely like about these new movies. Is we have a, a very uh, collaborative relationship with DC Comics. Has Jeff Johns and Stan Lee, have they seen, hmm? have they seen the movie? Has Jeff Johns yeah, seen yeah, I Yeah, I'm pretty sure he has, yeah. Because uh, I'm passing by, a lot of them are saying, oh, we haven't seen it yet. I'm like, oh, what? Seen it. I'm sure, I'm sure, yeah. It's, that's his baby, so, yeah. Awesome. Well, congrats, Thanks, guys, for tuning in. If you like this video, click like. If you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and check out this video at home. And let me know who your favorite superhero is. Mine is Batman. See you later.